Hello everyone, Nathan here. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to install mods for MindTest. And, um, yeah, let's jump right into it. So basically, to download mods, you just head over to mindtest.net backslash mods. They have a list of the popular mods right here. And then they also have mod releases, which if we swing on over there, 20 pages of 577 topics. Now, I'm definitely not saying that um, there's 577 mods available, but there are quite a few. Um, I would definitely recommend checking them out, add a little extra something to the gameplay. Today we're going to be going over to how to install Simple Mobs. So we're going to click on that, and we got a little bit of information here. We have our license. Depends. Now every single mod is going to have a depends. You want to look at that. Defaults included with vanilla mind test. So if it just says default, you're good. If it does mention something else, you are going to need that mod listed. Um, in this case, you need a fire mod, which I have found. And I will include the link in the YouTube description for that. So pretty much we will just download this. And we are going to... We'll just open the file. I don't need it saved at all. And then we will run over here and download the archive file for fire as well. Then we will pop open our file explorer. Uh, and on Linux, it'll be located in your home folder in a dot mine test. And then you'll have to create a folder and name it mods. And you open that up and simply drag and drop your mods right on in. And then I always double check what the readme says. In this case, it looks like it's a blank file. Yes, the Firemaster has a blank file. And we will look at the mobs mod here, readme. Um, it tells you where to install it. Um, yeah, so sometimes you will have to rename the mod folders. Both of these actually do need to be renamed. Um, usually the readme will tell you. In this case, however, they don't, unfortunately. The fire mod just needs to be renamed. You know what? I'll leave the fire mod not renamed. Just show you what happens if you don't. Um, in the simple mob here, it'll tell you. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't tell you in the readme, which I really wish he would. But down over here, he does say, did you rename the folder into mobs? So if you leave it with this name, it will not work. So just clear that out. There's actually another way you can check to see what the mod name the mod name should be. If you go into the mod folder and then open the init Lua file, it'll tell you right here, mobs. That should be the name of it. And if we head over to the fire, open the same folder, it'll say fire. It's a little worded differently, but it kind of means the same thing. And then if we pull up mind test right quick here, I'm actually going to delete that and create a new world. And we will call this one test as well. And create and configure. In order to use any of your mods, you have to enable them. So we will enable these two and hit save and hit play. And it'll say mod error failed to load and run. Firemaster. It failed to load and run it because it has the wrong name. So I'm going to just close that down and rename this to Fire. And then relaunch Mine Test. Reconfigure to enable Fire. Save play. Everything loads up. Here we are in the Mine Test world. Now, this isn't so much about the gameplay, um, but if you do want to jump right in and start playing, I will tell you one thing. It's very similar to Minecraft WSAD for moving, space to jump, right click to punch. Wait, that's left click. Left click to punch, right click to place. Um, but unlike Minecraft that uses, I believe, E for inventory, Mine Test uses I for inventory, which is kind of more on par with other games or they'll use I for inventory because it kind of makes more sense. I believe mine test just use E because your fingers were already right there, which made it so simple. Um, 
But gameplay will be in a further video, so I'm gonna just exit this out. And, um, uh, yeah, there you have it, how to install a mod. Uh, again, usually they'll tell you in the readme or in the, um, on the forum what the name should be. I mean, if you ever do have questions, create an account, just ask, very helpful community, and they'll usually get back pretty quickly and let you know what's wrong. So thanks for watching, and I'll be back again real soon.